All right, welcome back to your Ask the Energy Advisor. I am Brian Hawk, the Energy Advisor at Noble REMC. And today we're gonna to continue our talks about air sealing. And what we're gonna to highlight today, as you can see right here, we've got some air leakage around this entry door. Uh, this is a metal entry door. Um, this would apply, what we're going to do today will apply to an entry door or a doorway between your garage and the entrance of your home. So we'll treat both, both situations as an outside door. So let's get started. Okay, now that we're outside, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the different door types. As we mentioned early off, this is a steel door. Um, I actually purchased a magnetic strip uh, to seal properly up against the steel door. If this were a fiberglass door, you know, it, obviously you wouldn't be able to use a magnetic strip to seal up against it. They make a different type of seal for that. Um, if this were a wood door, you have another option where you actually take a, a stop and would fasten it to your existing jam and your door comes up and seals against that. Now there's also a difference in the quality of the different seals. You know this being a magnetic seal it is going to be pretty much a standard quality of rubber seal and if you can see it's going to be a little bit difficult but there's a barbed slide right here that will attach itself inside of an existing slot for that seal in the door jam. If you have a wood door or a different type of door that does not have that slot, this again is a surface mount. And this particular model is, uh, it's a rubber coated seal instead of just a vinyl coated seal. So this is on the top of the line, uh, better end of the seal. So if you still have a lot of pets running around and you have problems with them tearing up your door seals, might not be a bad idea to go with the vinyl covered. If you have a nice door and you're looking to really seal it up good, go ahead and spend a little bit of extra money and get the rubber seal. Okay, <clears throat> now let's go ahead and transition. I'd like to show you how these seals pop out, reinsert. This door is gonna give us a little bit of a different setup because there's a peel and stick seal on this side of the jam. So we'll have to work a little bit harder to get that one off. But in the end, we'll still be able to slide in a new seal and make it seal up tight. And just before we get started, some of the tools you may need, the old trusty tape measure. I have a little paint scraper, I think this is a Red Devil paint scraper, it's a flat bar. A utility knife, and since we're using the magnetic strip seal today, we're going to be utilizing a pair of tin snips. Now we're just going to show you how easy this existing seal pops out. Again, this is the way the door jam is made. Just like that. Again, there's a barbed edge on that side that slides into a slot that's built into this door jam. Okay, and now for the difficult side, this one does have, like I said, a peel and stick seal on it and as you can tell it's beyond its useful life and so we're probably going to have to work at this one a little bit harder. Okay we've got all the old seals out and again this is a magnetic strip so we're going to use that to our advantage to go ahead and get this measured up. Okay, now this is one directional, obviously. It will go up inside, reinsert, right back into the existing slot. So there's the top. And now we talked about this being a magnetic strip. It is magnetic on the top and the latch side, and it is still the bulb seal, the pliable bulb seal that goes up against the hinge side. And it is not magnetic. And now finally we have the magnetic strip on the latch side. Thank you. 
Okay, and as you can see, having a flat bar like that with a 90 degree bend on it gave me the opportunity to really push that in and get it sealed properly. But there you have it, brand new sealed up door. If you have any questions, feel free to call me at Noble REMC. Thanks for joining us.